got handcuffed. He got handcuffed. That's Michael right. Biggie McDonald's grandmother has had no reason to celebrate since the 16-year-old was stabbed to death outside Monsignor Paul Dwyer Catholic School in March 2010. Finally, jubilation after hearing a judge sentence her grandson's killer to six years in jail after being convicted of manslaughter in March. It won't bring Michael back, but seeing him in handcuffs made my day. There was some justice for Michael. For the family, what has been so difficult was watching Jack Jr. Amicon, the accused, walk free on house arrest, except for five months after being charged with a second-degree murder. Even after a jury convicted him of manslaughter, the 20-year-old was still living in the community, and they say he showed no remorse. No apology. He had the chance to stand up yesterday. The judge asked him, did he have anything to say? Nothing. The judge gave Amicon five months credit for pretrial custody and seven months credit for pre-sentence house arrest, reducing the sentence to five years in a penitentiary. In handing down his sentence, Justice Michael Brown noted that Amicon deliberately brought a large knife to school that day, swung the knife into McDonald's heart, and didn't make any attempt to extricate himself from the confrontation. He then fled the scene and disposed of the knife. McDonald's family clapped as Amicon was finally taken into custody. We're just excited that he actually got that and of course the applause I think came seeing him in handcuffs finally. But the mother of the 20 year old killer cried. Amicon was a classmate who had an ongoing dispute with the victim. In the judge's words years ago it would have resulted in some punches being thrown. But nowadays someone brings a weapon and someone dies. Catherine McDonald, Global News.